What is going on my friends? So today I am finally making a video about the question that you guys asked all the time. I have been on YouTube doing MKMobile videos for more than 4 years now and I can tell that this is the most frequent question that I got, apart from the which character is better. But no, this one is by far the most frequently asked question. So you guys asked me this question in some variations. And so the question is, are you playing on computer? Uh, how can I play on a computer? Why do you play on computer? Which emulator do you use? And how do I set up my keys in emulator on the keyboard so I can play on PC? All right, so I'm going to answer all these questions today. The first question is, are you playing on PC? And the answer is yes, I am. Why am I playing on PC? Multiple reasons. Reason number one, it is just more convenient to record. I have also capture card, but I don't like using the capture card. I prefer uh, just using my keyboard and my mouse. It's much, much easier compared to me watching at a phone. And this leads me to the reason number three. I just enjoy the game better on uh, emulator. Why is that? Because rather than draining my battery life and playing on this small display of the phone, I'd rather enjoy the game on my 32 inch monitor. It makes sense, right? So for one thing, it's just more enjoyable. It is easier to record. And there is one more reason why I'm playing on emulator. It's because I can do something else in the background. I can just run the crypt uh, and I can just out up and do something else in the process or I can work and just on my mo gaming monitor I just have the crypt so I just click um, from time to time and I can I don't really want to do that on my phone because it gets locked and stuff like this and again the battery is draining so there's so many reasons why I'm using an emulator I believe I already explained to you now next question is how can I play uh, on an emulator and which emulator are you using? I'm using LD9 emulator. This is not a sponsored video. I don't uh, I don't receive money from any emulator to advertise it. I'm just telling you which emulator I'm using. In the past, I used Bluestacks. Now I'm using LD9. I cannot say what I, whether Bluestacks is a bad or good emulator. I cannot say whether LD9 is so much better. It's just the fact that I like LD9 better. That's all. But Bluestacks will also do. Uh, if you don't know what emulator is, it is a platform, a uh, software that allows you to play mobile games on your phones, uh, on, sorry, on your PCs. So all you need to do is to go, for instance, here, go to Google Play Store, just download it. And from this point on, you can install it. I just installed MK Mobile and you can uh, start the game and enjoy the game. And basically, this is how it works. It's not difficult at all. Uh, so more or less, that's it. This is how you can uh, play mobile games on your PC. Go to the website of Bluestacks or LG9, it doesn't matter. Download the emulator, install the emulator, and then go here, uh, install your favorite game, and then just play it. And this brings me to the next question. Uh, how do you set it up? Okay, I already installed it. How do you set it up? Before we get there, there is something very interesting here, as you can see, uh, all the way to the right. This thing can be expanded, and here there is a multi instance uh, LD player. You see, currently I have four instances. It's so easy to create an instance. Just press on add instance, you're going to create a new instance. In other words, like a new standalone installation of the emulator, and you can install another instance of MK Mobile. Currently, I have four instances, all of them has MK Mobile. This is my main account. I have uh, another instance of day one, I have beginner account, and I have an instance that I didn't even name. Uh, so if I want to start my beginner account, I just press start here and another instance of LG9 with another instance of Mortal Kombat Mobile is going to start and I can start playing on my beginner account. It's also easy if you have two accounts to so just play them side by side on your monitor. On the left, we have beginner account one to the right, you have a beginner account two or whatever. And you can, for instance, spam towers at the same time without losing time and you are having to do them one after the other, just doing simultaneously, it saves so much time. This is how I uh, was doing my main account and my beginner account back in the days when I actually used my beginner account. Uh, so, just when it comes to the multi-instance, it's another reason why using emulator is good. Uh, the next question, am I going to get banned for using emulator? I cannot say yes, I cannot say no. For uh, one thing, I've been using emulator for years. Many people, some people are actually using certain shady softwares on emulator, for instance, auto clicker. So they install the emulator and then they do the auto clicker, good go ahead and opens, let's say, 100,000 packs because a human will fall asleep, but the auto clicker just keeps on clicking, 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 
and probably this is why they get banned. I cannot say for sure. Um, I know that emulators are generally frowned upon, but uh, I never heard anybody being banned for, for only for using emulator. As long as you're just using emulator to enjoy the game, I don't think there is a reason to get banned, but again, I'm not Warner Brothers, I cannot tell that for sure. Uh, so this is all I have to say about getting banned on using emulator. I cannot confirm it, I cannot deny it. All I know is that my experience is that I've never get banned for using emulator. I haven't heard anybody getting banned for using emulator. Uh, so, what else you need to do, guys, is um, if you want to set up your keyboard, you just have to press right here on the keyboard mapping. Once you do that, uh, you can start setting up your keys. For instance, you press right there and you are saying, you know what? I want to have a key that goes to the free reward section. So I'm just clicking right once again and it says enter a key. I want this key to be F. I say uh, OK. I save. Uh, and now if I press F, I will go directly to the free rewards. In fact, if you want, uh, you can tell uh, LG that you want uh, the keys that you just set to be visible. As you can see currently here to the, uh, to the right, you have F, we have here 1, 2, 3, we have Z, X, C, B, L, and so on and so forth. The reason behind it is simple. If I go to a game, you're about to see that I have 1, 2, and 3 exactly where my character's icons are. So if I press on 2, this means that I want character 2 uh, to be summoned to the game, or in other words, I want him to tag in. If I press 1, I want the same thing to happen to character 1. And uh, Z, X, C, and V correspond to special 1, special 2, special 3, or this special skill that usually the newest release character uh, characters have. Uh, another thing that I have, it's a Q, it's just a random punch, because uh, the reality is you can control the fight uh, from your mouse only. However, it's not really that great. So in other words, you can control the fight with your mouse, but if you want to make sure the fight is easier for you, it's much easier to, um, to navigate and to control, then you have to also set certain uh, keys so that you can attack to characters faster, so that you can do special attacks faster and stuff like this. I'm going to show you in a second how you can completely control the game by just using your mouse. So if you want to punch, just press anywhere on the emulator, just register, you see? So I can press everywhere. Uh, and I am going to do, if I want to do special tree, I just press on the special tree. If I want to attack to uh, Lucane, I just attack to Lucane. If I want to do special tree, and then I have to click on the mouse fast enough in order to do the mini game. Uh, this is the reason why a lot of swiping mini games are difficult, especially the mini game that goes to up. It's super, super annoying to do it on emulator. It's not impossible, but it's just annoying. This is the main reason why I have such mini games. I don't really perform that great. But more or less that's it. If you want to remove the key, just press on it and there is an X icon that will appear. Just press on it and you can uh, remove it. Then press save and you're, you're currently seeing that those two specific uh, short keys disappeared. And you don't really have to all the time see which of the keys that you set. I did that in the very first days, then I just memorized them by heart. You can just remove them and then play the game the way you find uh, it for yourself. So in general, this is the way you control uh, emulator. This is the way you uh, set up the key so that you can play the game on your PC. If you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up uh, and yeah, have an amazing rest of your day. Take care, guys. Perfect.